So are you like a cow or a Dalmatian? I am the spot. <laughs> it's not funny. Shamik, I was wondering, because there was a bit of a delay between the first film and the sequel, when it came to recording, is there a certain thing that gets you into the Miles Morales zone when you're doing the recording voices? Do you put on some Air Jordans or something like that? Um, you know, I might listen to some some sound bowls, some healing bowls on the way to the uh, to the voice session. Um, but really, I just depend on my directors to just tell me exactly what they want, and I do my, my best to to follow directions, honestly. Do you get to see some of the visuals that they're planning? Obviously, maybe not the final versions, but do you get that? And does that impact how you get into the performance and the emotions that are coming across? Um, they'll show us like concept art and, you know, early sketches. Uh, everything helps, everything helps. As long as they get me in the space, in the zone, it's it, everything is helpful. Yeah, and um, Hayley, I'd, obviously it feels a bit churlish to point out a single animation style, but Gwen's World, the background and the way it reacts to the emotions honestly just heightens the storytelling of this sequel and we get to see more of it. So for you, what was it about the sequel that you was excited to explore when it came to Gwen Stacy's story? Oh, uh, every part of it. Just the fact that we were gonna get more of it was so exciting to me. Uh, we get a little bit more of her origin story and we get to see sort of everything that she is about to take us on uh, the journey of, of uh, experience, what she's experiencing right at the top of the film, we get, we get all of that. So um, I was just excited to grow with her some more and spend more time with her. And it is visually so, so, so special as is every single world that we see in this film. Um, but I'm biased, I love hers so much. I was happy we got to live in it. Does it feel different returning to the role of Gwen Stacy, having been in Hawkeye between the first two films and a different type of superhero world? Does that feel different or is it just revisiting an old friend? Um, well, I always feel like every experience I have uh, ultimately in, in one way or another influences the work, the future work that I do. Um, so I think that, yeah, I mean, there's, there's, there are parts of each experience that I have that I take with me into, into everything that I do. So. For sure, I, I, I do feel though so grateful to have had the opportunity to step back into this character uh, because you know, you get that feeling of sort of picking up where you left off and um, you fall back into this world and it's uh, it's all right there for you. Yeah, definitely. Um, and obviously I won't go into spoilers, but we knew beforehand that this was one part of two part story um, and where it ends off, obviously I was just frustrated because I could have spent five, six hours in this world and carried on with the story. But for you guys, what was your reaction to the first time reading that script to realizing where they were gonna end this story off? My reaction when I, like Haley, uh, you, you said earlier is what it, it would, what it would have probably <clears throat> felt like reading the script for the first time is probably very similar to watching it in its entirety for the first time. And uh, yeah, I didn't know a lot of the things that were happening in this film <laughs> until I saw it. So um, yeah, it's I'm I'm excited for the for the next round. And I, I don't know, I couldn't give you a spoiler if I, I mean you know we, yeah I was just. <laughs> step step there. There. It's hard to talk about, I'm fully aware. And Haley, was it the same experience for you? Is it just like this film's actually quite hard to talk about because you don't want to spoil the surprises that are in store? Oh my God, yeah. I mean, I've been looking forward to this day for a long, long time for the sake of feeling like I could talk about it. And even now I'm like, I need to know that you have seen it before I talk about it because there are so many um, just Easter eggs and, and surprises and uh, moments that will you know, make you feel some type of way. And I don't want to ruin that for you. Just finally, are you able to say, like, have you started work on Beyond the Spider-Verse or is that still to come in the months to come in terms of recording? We are so waiting to be able to talk about this one. Like I was just saying, <laughs> all spoilers and all that. Uh, we're just so excited that this thing is, is finally out in the world.